Hi my YouTube friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dee and you're viewing The How To Lady, a channel that offers tips regarding organization, life hacks, and DIYs. So today we're going to offer information regarding how to store your artificial hair. Yes, I love artificial hair and it will take care of you if you take care of it. So if you're interested in this topic, please stay tuned. And if you see anything that you like, I don't care how small it is, like and subscribe below. And as always, we're gonna get this ball rolling and we are going to knock it out of the park. back in my master bathroom and we are going to show you how to store your artificial hair. I'll show you the things that you need and then we'll start storing some hair. All right, these are the containers that we will use to store the wigs. I have two separate sizes because I wanted to maximize the space under my cabinet where I will house these containers. So I'll get a little closer so that you can see the label and if you'd like to duplicate the actual container, you will have the information to do that with. A Sterilite, and then this one is Hefty. Next, you'll need the artificial hair that you plan to store. Now, typically the hair comes in a semi-box container and that box container is usually in a plastic container like this. These two items I don't think you need um, because it will take up space in the containers that you plan to store the artificial hair in. So here's the artificial hair, but I suggest that you keep the netting that comes with the hair and the description that comes with the hair. You'll also need a plastic bag, one of those four sizes um, uh, freezer bags. And then I just suggest that you have some type of label that you will put on the outside of the box. So here I have 27. Um, so I would definitely store a wig in those containers that uh, is the 27 color. So 27 is just the description of the color. Um, and then if it's a multicolor like the wig to my right, then um, you will determine what type of color description that you want to put on the outside of your container. However, keeping the tag that comes with the hair also facilitates with that and you can determine what that's going to look like when you store it in your container. So we'll start storing and I'll show you the storage space once we're done. Here I've placed the wig inside of the freezer bag and I've removed as much air of, out of the bag as possible. As you can see, I have stored the wigs in the containers and each container has a description of what is inside of that particular bin. So here I am able to house at least five to six wigs in one of the large containers. Now the smaller containers hold fewer wigs, but I usually use those for frequently worn wigs and wigs that don't have a lot of volume. I also store my hair products in a smaller container, but this storage unit has worked very well for me. Um, I really like how I have easy access to my wigs and they're not all over the place. I tried the mannequins, I've tried various things and this has been the one storage process that works for me. So I hope you got something out of the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to post those below. Thank you for watching and I look forward to you in the next video.
heavyweight storage. 